Lincoln joined in a national day of recognition for city and county leaders today. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Evan Hummel has more on that story. Evan? Rod and Megan, nearly 4,000 city county leaders were recognized across the nation and Lincoln held a ceremony of their own for this day. With group like Samaritan. <laughs> Local and county leaders highlighted the impact of groups like AmeriCorps and Senior Corps and the help they give to the challenges facing Lincoln. It was all part of a day of recognition for national service at the Tower Square near 13th and P. Chair of the Board of Commissioners Todd Witchin believes that these services can be taken for granted at times. That's why this day is a good reminder. A lot of people don't understand how important uh, AmeriCorps or Senior Corps are um, to the everyday lives that they, they live and so they overlook it um, frequently and that's why it's important to have days like this. The program included music from the Lincoln High Pep Band. It's estimated that more than 300 AmeriCorps and Senior Corps employees serve the city of Lincoln and Lancaster County. Constance Woods Brown is a former employee of AmeriCorps and got involved because she loves helping children. Well, I always wanted to be a teacher, so I, when I saw the ad to help with kindergarten through fifth grade, I thought, well, I'm going to go for it, try it, and, and it was the best experience I had. I worked with them in the after-school program. Lynn Johnson, the director of City Parks and Recreation, says all these organizations play a role in helping each other. We've had AmeriCorps members who have worked with us for a number of years. Um, AmeriCorps members are essentially the, they're essentially the, the kind of the local Peace Corps. These are people who want to volunteer their time for community service or provide their time for community service. Senior Corps provides Meals on Wheels, while AmeriCorps has volunteers who mentor students in after-school programs. The mayor's office says that the city receives more than $2 million in grants and matching funds from these national service programs. They hope that events like this inspire others to get involved with the community. Definitely. Great story. Thank